And we got a lot of news to get into today because the day one episode of Raw ended a few hours ago. And the biggest thing on that show was, in fact, the surprise return of The Rock. And, of course, he did his entire spiel and he beat up Jinder Mahal. But then, at the very end of his appearance, he said that now that he was done, he was going to go hang out and he was going to go out to dinner. And he says, where should The Rock sit when he is eating dinner? Should he sit at a booth? Should he sit at the bar or should The Rock sit at the head of the table? And the place went crazy, and Michael Cole lost his mind, and off The Rock went. So, sounds to me like this guy's doing mania. I would, I would think that. I don't have that confirmed, but uh, you, know the, you know the head of the table thing, that whole thing, head of the table and all that, and Tribal Chief, was all done originally to build up the Roman Reigns rock match. Years and years and years ago. Years ago, yeah. Wow. yeah. Because, you know, this match had been um, on the table, um, geez, I think uh, probably before the before the pandemic, maybe? Um, or maybe right after? I mean, I remember they were going to do, uh, it was going to be uh, the Dallas show, and then it, then it was going to be Los Angeles. And then, I guess this year, um, but, you know, I mean, he, he turned down the first one to do the second one, which would have been uh, Los Angeles. And then Los Angeles, you know, ended up being canceled, um, you know, when kind, kind of in December, I think. So, but he said that, like, you know, he'd be open for next year. But at the time, it was kind of like, if he didn't do it in Los Angeles, he's probably not doing it. But... Uh, We'll see. I mean, I don't have it confirmed he's doing it. The uh, the second season. Well, that'd was on be a XFL. pretty silly thing to do if he wasn't going to do WrestleMania. Yeah, no kidding, huh? Sure would. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, I could not imagine in January if this was a Vince McMahon company. There's this would be a hundred percent lock that he'd be doing WrestleMania, and I don't think that Levesque's going to be any different. You know, I mean, like he's different in some ways, but he can be. I don't see him. In January, uh, teasing this and not delivering something along those lines. But I don't know if that confirmed. I just, you know, the timing and everything, it all seems to uh, work out this way. So. Well, you know, I brought this up before and you've shot the idea down. But one thing that I have noticed about Triple H as a booker is he comes up with these plans and he wants to do his plan. And, you know, we saw the Sammy deal and how over Sammy was. And are they actually going to, you know, do the switch? And that wasn't the plan. So they didn't do the switch. And for a year now, almost a year, nine months, they have been doing this finish the story storyline. Mm -hmm. And they have been doing it and doing it and doing it. And clearly the idea was Roman Reigns and Cody at WrestleMania. And Rock showing up here. In in theory, throws a monkey wrench in that plan, and I don't think he wants to wait another year to do that match, and I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that you do Rock versus Roman Reigns on one night, and the winner of that match faces Cody on the second night. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect it though. So you think you're gonna hold off Cody for another year? I don't know what Have him doing. randomly win in a Saudi Arabia show in May. Yeah, you could do that too. There's a there's a lot of things you could do. They, could, they might they might want to make sure that Roman sets the record. Um, I don't think it's going to be Bruno San Martino's record, but at least break, breaking Hulk Hogan's records or or you know Backlund's or something like that. I mean they're they're bound to you know they didn't they didn't keep this title on Roman Reigns for this long to not break records for with, for him at the end. So I don't know how quick he's going to be losing this thing. He could lose it this year. Um, it's been long enough. I mean, it's quite frankly, it's overdue, especially since Reigns is only part time. But Well, know. listen, all I know is that everybody thought he was going to win last year and Cody didn't. Mm -hmm. And despite losing yet a whole year of him, you even said that he should be the MVP because of what he did for WWE business mm -hmm. on the road and house shows and everything. And yeah, I, think I think another so. year-long chase only to lose a second time, I yeah, certainly would... would not do that. 
Uh, if he was to lose second time, it would hurt him a lot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But, you know, who knows? It's still, it's, it's I mean, I don't, I don't know uh, anything more right now. But um, I think that uh, it would be real tough uh, to drag it out. But you know what? If he doesn't, if he doesn't get it, it's it's a weird dynamic. If uh, he doesn't get the title shot, because people are gonna, the hardcore fans are gonna be real mad that he's not getting the shot and that the part timer is coming in. But the part timer is gonna draw way more. So um, you know you normally will go with who's going to draw away more and that would be the rock so um if if it comes down to that you know i mean he still has to um you know but i mean i can't see doing that and him not being in the you know you know him going this far as he did tonight and not having that pretty much as a solidified plan um you know he's got the new foot the the remake of the football league the uh XFL and USFL merged, you know, which had been talked about, and he actually officially announced it a couple days ago. And um, they're going to be called the Unified Football League with the XFL division and the USFL division with four teams from those original leagues, each playing starting in the end of March. And um, that's a week before WrestleMania. So it's not, you know, and he was pretty... You know, one of the things that, that got in the way of last year's WrestleMania was him promoting the XFL. So this thing starting a week before WrestleMania, um, you know, that's an interesting scheduling thing. But, you know, I mean, he can promote it and still get his ring time in, I think. You know, um, I don't, if he's promoting another movie, that would make it a lot more difficult. Or if he has, an, if he has a movie in that time frame, then that would be out. So... Uh, yeah, interesting di- interesting night, though. You know, interesting to follow. All right, we'll talk more about that later on. By the way, no Andrade on the show. No mention whatsoever of Andrade. No. And, you, uh, know, you know, if he was on the, if he comes in, although I guess it doesn't really matter right now, you know, you would think that he would be on SmackDown. Well, which, sure, but, his wife is on that show, but, but she's but, out but for she's, a year. She's not going to be around for like nine months, yeah. She's, yes. she's having surgery, uh, I think this week she's having the surgery. So, um... It would make, it would have made no sense to debut him on the show tonight. I mean, it would have made none because of Dwayne being on. It would be like so lost in the shuffle that why do it? Plus, they had already advertised all this stuff, and I mean, there was no time for it on this show. I mean, they had, uh, you know, I mean, like literally, the Dwayne segment between the start of Jinder Mahal and the end went like twenty eight minutes, which was way too long, and everything else was just. You know, like, uh, you know, just kind of like the match they already advertised was pretty much the rest of the show. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.